Hey everybody, this is Andrew Trollson. I'm just going to give you a very quick overview of what to expect if you attend the Delta.NET 4.0 class. So the whole designation of the Delta, that's just the changes. So the whole nature of this course is we're just going to be looking at some of the big changes that took place with the release of .NET 4.0. We'll begin by talking about the new language features that we get in both C Sharp and Visual Basic, including this new aspect of the CLR called the Dynamic Language Runtime. We'll also take a peek at some of the new bits that have been added to the base class libraries, such as support for uh, Task Parallel Library, and a couple of interesting new classes that let you do some interesting things, like the Lazy Type, and also coverage of P-Link. We'll talk about some of the changes that took place to the Entity Framework under 4.0. It's a pretty nice cleanup from the original release that we saw a while back. We'll be talking about new aspects of doing WPF programming, including the Visual State Manager, which is a really nice alternative to the original Trigger Framework. Talk about Workflow 4.0, which really has nothing to do with the original Workflow engine or programming model. Things are completely different here. So if you tried Workflow before and you weren't sure that it would work in your projects, I'd recommend taking a look at the new Workflow. And we'll also talk about some of the nice changes that were included for Windows Communication Foundation, including more formal support for RESTful services. Here's kind of a breakdown of what we see in each chapter. You can see that chapters are fairly well isolated to their respective content. Now as far as the prereqs go, um, please be really aware that this is a course for people who are already doing .NET programming. There's no coverage of any fundamental anything. We're only focusing on the new 4.0 bits. So we assume that you're very comfortable with C-sharp or Visual Basic or both. We assume that you're very comfortable doing .NET development and that you can certainly make use of Visual Studio to build and debug your software. The course is set up so that we have a good combination of lecture lab time and interactive demos with the class. These are just some rough numbers. Every class is a little bit different based on how many people are in the room and where people are at with their skills. Notice that we always give lab solutions for download, so that's yours to keep. The setup for the class is extremely simple. All you have to have is a copy of Visual Studio 2010 that will install all the things that you need to do all the labs of the class. So a really quick overview guys, uh, hope to see you in class soon.